Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video, and today is part two of a four-part series on how to measure your content marketing metrics. So yesterday I talked about consumption metrics, and today we're focusing on retention metrics. So these are all metrics that you should be monitoring in Google Analytics, your email marketing platforms, and, and social media channels to really monitor how well your content's performing and isolate problem areas and discover the areas of uh, the well-performing content and what you should focus more energy on. So, okay, let's get into it. Retention metrics, uh, the first we're gonna cover is Google Analytics. <clears throat> For retention metrics, you wanna look at uh, bounce rate. So to get this in Google Analytics, look at behavior, site content, all pages. So this will list out all, all pages of your content and you can filter this by uh, content that's getting you know the most page views. Um, you can also filter this down by a specific URL by uh, entering that URL in the, the search box and this will narrow it down to a specific page. So what you want to look at here is try to keep your bounce rate low. If you see any pages with high bounce rates then what you need to do is uh, um, troubleshoot what could be going on here. So if you have high engagement time on these pages but low bounce rate, then some ways to um, improve the uh, or lower the bounce rate here is to put more internal links on these pages. So making good good use of internal links is a great way to people keep people engaged on your site. So what you want to do is interlink into other related pieces of content. So you keep them progressing uh, further into your site, and this will reduce the bounce rate. So for those of you that aren't familiar with what bounce rate is, it's pretty much a metric that uh, a user enters your site, visits, visits that one page, and then leaves. So they don't navigate any further throughout the site. Um, so what you want to do is just try to keep them engaged further. And internal linking is a great way to do that. Pages per visit. So again, uh, this is pretty much the uh, the metric of how many times or how many pages a person visits. So obviously, if your bounce rate is high, they're probably only visiting one page on your site on average. You want to try to keep this uh, um, higher, and this is a good indication that uh, if people are visiting more than one page on your site, it's a good indication that uh, this person or user will come back again in the future. So to access this, go to Site Content, Landing Pages, and then Pages Session. And this will tell you how many pages a visitor is uh, visiting per session. So that's for analytics for your retention metrics. And now we look at your email marketing platform. So here what you want to look at is your subscribers to unsubscribe and opt-out ratio. So what you want to do is try to keep your your unsubscribe rate low and your new subscribers can continue increasing over time. So you want to kind of keep your, your new subscribers going up and your unsubscribe rate, you know, staying, uh, staying steady or down. Keep that low. <clears throat> uh, one thing to look at is keep an eye on um, sudden spikes of unsubscribers. So if you have any sudden spikes there, then you need to isolate that. What's causing that? And look at, uh, is there a specific email that's, that you sent out that's causing, you know, this? If so, if this is in your marketing funnel, then you need to address that. <clears throat> um, lastly, we're going to look at social media metrics to uh, follow for your, uh, when you're monitoring retention metrics. <clears throat> so what you need to look at is new followers. Um, new subscribers or new page likes. So on LinkedIn, uh, you're going to try to be monitoring new followers um, or a new connection request, uh, new subscribers on YouTube, or new page likes on Facebook. So on all these platforms, you should be looking at shares, likes, and comments. All these are engagement metrics that um, uh, will help determine how well your content's doing and is this increasing over time? And also, uh, it will help with your reach because the algorithm that they use is based on engagement. So the more engagement content's getting, the better your content will 
uh, performing more organic reach that you'll get. Um, obviously, that's better on uh, YouTube, or not YouTube, but LinkedIn than anything right now. Facebook's organic reach is pretty low, but still these metrics help. Um, and if you're paying for advertising on Facebook, uh, having high engagement will definitely um, boost your performance. So anyway, that's it for today's video. And tomorrow we will be covering engagement metrics to look at. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out. Otherwise, that's it for today's video. And talk to you tomorrow.